Minasan Konnichiwa, this is David, and this evening we are going over the Gundam portent from um, Gundam Build Fighters Try. And happy late posting for International Women's Day. And yes, exactly <laughs> that. Um, we're also going to be going over the um, portent flyer, the accessory kit for the Gundam portent. Um, I will note that this does not come with the Gundam portent. Um, it is a separate kit. The parts um, in some of the Build Fighters kits, their accessory parts actually come with them, um, but you can get the accessory parts separate. Okay, so without further ado. And she warranted some fancy lighting. That's yes. Really. Now you'll notice there is a jewel effect going on here um, in the shoulders and in the head and mm -hmm. in the, um, the sort of GN condenser things on the side. Yeah. Um, that is all aftermarket. Um, in the in the booklet, it suggests using um, some of this foil paper here um, from the Daiso, the Japanese dollar store, um, in in the build. And so we did, um, and I think it paid off majestically. I love that effect. Um, so if you're doing it, consider doing that as well. I think in the the build suggestion, it suggests looking for something that's like a sticker. Yeah. Um, which I would actually recommend over the, the origami paper that we use. Yeah. With a sticker, I had to fuss a lot and fight a lot with it to get it to stay in place. So mm -hmm. if you can find stickers that you can actually rub on the inside of the plastic, um, I would highly recommend that. It makes it a lot easier. Okay. So, um, first thing, it this the stand, um, the screen stand does come with it, yep. which is kind of cool. Yep. Um, I love it whenever HG kits come with um, stands. And it's a posable stand. We can have her more upright, too, if we want. Yeah, and it has a lot of slots in it for accessory parts. So if you um, want to do that, um, that's pretty easy to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to pop her off here. Oh. So these wings here. Oh. These wings here are not actually a part of the kit itself. Um, they are actually from the Portent Flyer. And they are different colors. Um, yes, yes. They are slightly different color. They are sort of an off-white, uh, sort of an eggshell. Really? They look gray to me, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's the it's the same um, color that a lot of the um, the accessory parts come in. If you're familiar with like the Mega Ride Launcher, yeah. Um, that's one. Yeah. Um. Uh, her legs. Her legs are a little bit of a problem case. Um, they are very loose. Um. She actually comes with two sets of wings of her own, though. Mm -hmm. um, she comes with these wings with the sort of triangle cut out of them and then the circle cut out of them. Um, they Either of those can go in there. Um, they can also go in her legs just as easily. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, she's basically a double-O kit. Yeah. Um, she has a lot in common with, like, the Exia. Um, but she is a completely new build. She is, um, all her own runners. Everything is completely unique to her. Um, oh, also there, you know, she can put her, um, her arms have holes for wings. Mm -hmm. Oh, so she actually has three sets of wings. Yes, yes, she's got them on the backs of her. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I would say the only, like, real... Disappointment? No, okay. There's two disappointing things about the build. Her feet, as beautiful as those heels are, are not articulate. Oh, really? So she can't really point them. Oh, man. Them. Right. That's and, crazy. And those are almost, you know, um, Nobel level heels, but you yeah. can't. You can't move the foot at all to like get a real good point going when she's flying, which is a bummer. Yeah, that's a shame. I almost want to like replace those feet with somebody else's feet. Yeah. Um, and of course, as you can see, that sword is ugly. <laughs> it's see if just, I can get a good focus on it. It's it's ugly. Yeah. So the sword is an effect piece, a green effect piece, which is cool. And then it has a white sticker that goes over it. And it's just ugly. It's ugly as fuck. <laughs> um, it's it's kind of awful. And it betrays the look of the rest of the kit. The rest of the kit is gorgeous. Yeah. I can even live with those feet. But it's just, I don't know what to do about that sword because it would be so good. Yeah. She does come with another weapon. She does. She comes and beam with, sabers, too. She's got a she bunch comes of with those. that. 
Oh, she comes with beam sabers yeah, as well? Yeah, she does. If you see these little guys on here, oh, the back they skirts. pop off and become he uh, handles for the couple of beam sabers that she has. Okay, and they're um, the green too? Yes, they are the, the gorgeous green. So oh. we might switch to those. Her V-fin toggles. Yeah, her face is pretty directive. That's directable. interesting. Usually the V-fins are, um, are on a square peg, so they don't actually spin like that. Yeah, hers is just a little hole in her forehead. Yeah. So as far as articulation goes, um, she's relatively articulate, not amazingly articulate. Um, she's got a pretty good arm reach. Um, her legs are on ball joints. She can kick straight up if she wants. Um, she, that leg, yep. that leg. Um, and okay, so she is articulate at her waist and at her abdomen there. <laughs> Man. Those joints are loose. Hey, what would you say? Could we put some clear nail polish on that oh to tighten God. it up? Yes, I think we could. But, <laughs> so, um, but she's definitely a space-worthy mobile suit. She's supposed to be in the air. Yes, she's... she is not supposed to be on the ground. Mm. Um, she's supposed to be flying very fast at things. <laughs> and she comes with, what, three extra hands? Yes. Um, she comes with two fists, um, just your standard HG fists. And then she also comes with um, another weapon hand, mm -hmm. um, as well as her open hand. So, so she can dual wield. Yeah, so her weapon hand, she could be shooting forward while dragging her um, sword behind her or whatever. Okay, so that's the G-Portant. It's a great kit. It's beautiful. Um, the, the joints are a little loose. Um, that sucks. But that's an easy problem to fix. Yep. Um, as we get told every time we talk about the joints in a kit, <laughs> um, someone will say, you know, you can put clear nail polish on it. You can absolutely no. do that. Yep. Totally works. Um, and the feet. But, yeah, and the feet are just not articulate enough. But that is what it is. Yeah. Um, the sword sword sticker sucks. I mean, I might take, like, masking tape to the edges there, then pull off the sticker. Yeah. Paint the area where the masking tape isn't. And then, you know, do sort of do a reverse... Uh, of it and see how that yeah, works. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, or uh, do, if, do you still have the the sticker sheet? Yeah. Oh yeah. I could you could use the sticker, the sticker sheet. sheet. Yeah. So if you're gonna do this guy, this lady at home, consider saving your sticker sheet and just doing a reverse of it. Okay. So portent flyer, portent flyer. It is totally one color as are most of the um, accessory kits. Um, Which makes it easier to spray paint the whole thing. Correct. I mean, this is in case you want to put it on something else. Anything. Um, and I think it would look good on pretty much anything. Like yeah. it's not going to look great on big block bulky kits, yeah. but on any sort of graceful looking kit, um, anything from double O except for like the virtue, it's going to look great. Yeah. I don't know that I'd put her on like the Misazavi. No. Even with the feathered pieces. But I would love to see this on like a Curios. Yeah. Okay. So it comes with, um, the same, um, wing set the with a little circle hole in it mm -hmm. um, it also com comes with bigger wings which have saw blade uh, thing there it looks kind of like a blade a or like buster a, a sword. buster sword style <laughs> thing yeah um, so it comes with two of those it also comes with um, these two um, large angel wing looking things um, they're not quite like wing zero custom level detail but they are lovely and i think that they would be a good accessory that isn't quite as um as like dramatic as the wing zero custom because the wing zero custom is very much angel wings um this is a little less um obvious a little yeah. less pronounced well and more reasonable yes you guys can see a and it's not going to screw the balance on most kits. That's true, too. Uh, and then they, it has these little ones, too, which mm -hmm. complement it. And the thing is, is that it's got... The, the Portent Flyer has two sets of wings on it. It has the little wings on the bottom and the big wings on top. Mm -hmm. So you could swap those out as you see fit. So you could put the big angel wing-looking things on there. Um, and then you could take these off. And you can put the little angel wings on. It also comes with um, these little T-shaped connectors. Um, the T-shaped connectors will let you do that sort of thing with it. Mm. So you can really move 
those wings around. Yeah, it also it comes with an L-shaped connector or two L-shaped connectors as well. Um, those would be pretty much the same usefulness. Um, but you've got a couple more options there, I guess, is the important point. And those connectors also help you stick it on parts of other. Gear. Correct. Um, and yeah, you could you could use that to um, just put them straight on, so you don't need to use the port and flyer. Um, you could use one of those and put them on instead, which like is kind of cool. The, um, the skirt pieces on the quote unquote real grade on the. Um, Oh, on the star the, winning. The star winning would absolutely accept those. Oh yeah, they would definitely. Her hip, her hip pieces. She can have little wings on her hips. Yeah. They're cute. So there's the portent flyer. Um, it also comes with a backpack adapter. Yep. Uh, and this is a sort of multi-tool adapter that you could put in a few different places. Um, it's got the single hole, the or sorry, the single peg, the double peg. Um, and that way you can put it on different kits from different series. And it's we got all the, those holes in the, the back. Bear Guy F mom with the wings on the back. So yes. So have a angel mom bear kawaii explosion. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you, yeah, there's a lot that you can do with this. <laughs> we need like three more of this kit. <laughs> yeah. This is definitely going to be one that we're going to be playing with a lot. And putting and how much on was this? Different things. This was, um, it was about 600 yen. Yeah. So, uh, so five bucks. Um, Angel wings, all the things. Yes, this is this is a great kit. I mean, honestly, this is a thing that I know a lot of people have wanted. Yeah. Um, a lot of people have liked the idea of putting things like the Wing Zero wings on other kits. But the or, Wing Zero wings are just a little too much. Yeah, or the actual Wing Zero, not the Wing Zero custom. Mm. Um, it's a lot closer to that. Yeah. Um, so it's this makes it very easy to do. Right. Um, and also, I mean, you've got a pretty bird thing if you want it. Yeah. Um, so you've got a lot of really cool options with this. This is a great accessory kit. I think it's, a, a, even if you're not interested in the portent. Um, Which is crazy. Yeah, if you're not, I mean, you're, you're silly, but... <laughs> um, but this is this is a great accessory kit for its price. It's it's kind of wonderful. Um, so there you go. There is the Gundam Portent and the Portent Flyer accessory and I, kit. I had a lot of fun building her. Uh, you know, I I usually stick to SDs because I get even with HGs, I get bored halfway through, or my son starts to want to climb on me, or anything. It, any build that's going to take a long period of time, kind of, I'm not into. Yeah. But she didn't take as long as I would have expected. So. No, she was pretty simple. Yeah. All right. So, matane, everyone. Matane.